a boy in Ceylon, as Sri Lanka was known until 1972. My father took me on a trip around the island. It was probably the highlight of my life until then. It was also the last thing we did alone together. The year was 1946. I was 12. Our lives were about to change dramatically and we would be separated forever. For me, the change meant school in England, a financial career in London, and the makings of success in Canada. But for him, it meant disgrace, drink, and death. If you stay in Sri Lanka long enough, you are likely to meet people of every race under the sun and to experience everything there is to experience on Earth.